Okay, in this video, I want to show you how a meter in in both directions using a double acting cylinder operates. So here we have two flow control valves, each with their arrow of the check valve pointing towards the cylinder. This indicates that the oil is going to be metered in on both extension and retraction, which is a little bit easier than when it's just metered in or metered out in one direction to tell which is which. So because this has two flow control valves and the arrow is pointing towards the cylinder, oil will be metered as it goes into the circuit. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this operates. So when I activate the directional control valve, oil will flow up through here. It cannot get through the bypass check valve. So the oil is metered or the flow is controlled while it's going into the cylinder during extension. This would be metering in on extension. And you can see it goes slow. All the oil that is exiting here is bypassing the flow control needle valve through the bypass check valve. So all the oil flows in slowly here and all the oil exiting is bypassed. So this would be metering in while it's extending. Now let's meter it in while it is retracting. So here oil flows, it cannot get through the bypass check valve, so it gets metered on the way in. All the oil exiting here bypasses the flow control through the bypass check valve back down to tank. This is how you control the speed of a double acting cylinder in both directions using a meter in circuit. So, so again, what's important to notice here is that the arrows are both pointing towards the cylinder. And as soon as you see that, you can know that this is a meter in circuit in both directions. All right. Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.